Well, welcome back everybody to my solar pool pump project. I wanted to share a few uh, things with you with regard to my progress. Um, this job has turned in to be a little bit of a challenge. And had I, had I, uh, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have left those hard 90s that the uh, pool builder put here instead of cutting those out uh, because he didn't leave me much room to work with. Um, this was the original valve and uh, the pump was right here. So I probably should have just used one of these pipe extenders and stuck it in here um, and used those. But I decided to go this route because I would have more uh, a better flow rate through these sweep 90s. Now, if you're going to do this, make sure you use some PVC glue that doesn't set up too fast. Um, I used a glue that set up too fast and uh, the fitting started to set too quickly. So I'd put a little heat on this one uh, to uh, get it to fit on here. So also, if I was you, I would take apart the Jandy valve before you glue it together to make sure that no cement enters the uh, chamber. Now I want to show you how I plumb this in over here. So that's the uh, Amazon solar pump. And I, the flow is going to go directly into that pump. And then I put a T so that I can run the AC pump also. The other challenge I've had with this project is that the pool builder built this equipment, uh, this plumbing so close to the house that I don't have any more room to go back. Um, if I would have had more room, I could have plumbed this differently. Uh, I did think about um, turning both of these pumps in this direction but then I would have had a 90 going into that solar pump and I wanted to have a straight run into the intake chamber. Um, now the reason why I wish I could have gone farther back is that um, the specifications on these pumps with two inch says you need to have I believe at least two inches of pipe, for, excuse me, five inches of pipe for every two inches of di diameter. So I should have at least 10 inches of straight pipe here, but I can't go any farther back because the uh, Einstein Pool Company that built this uh, didn't give us any room. And that's the way he had it plumbed in originally because this AC pump was right there. Um, now, the other thing that I'd probably change is that this Amazon pump is the 900 watt and it's one and a half inch diameter pipe. Uh, I believe they have a 1200 watt pump and that's two inches, uh, two inch pipe. I think I should have gone that way, but it's a done deal now. So I had to reduce it down to one and a half. And um, I wish I had a little bit more distance to go farther back up against the wall, but I don't. Uh, now how these are going to be plumbed in up here is I'm going to create a manifold that the output on both of these pumps will go up to a check valve. There's going to be a check valve on the top of each and then these will run into a manifold that will tee out to the filter. Uh, one thing that I decided to do with these check valves is that they have springs in them and on this particular uh, check valve I took the spring out because I want to I want to have the ability for this pump I don't I'm not confident in the pressure it's going to put out I want to have it so that it can overcome um, that flapper valve without a spring uh, so the way this is going to set up it's going to be gravity fed so it's, the gravity is going to keep it shut once the water falls on top of it. So I will keep the spring and the check valve on top of that AC pump. 
Now, if you think of a different way for me to plumb this in, put it in the comments. I'll be open to any ideas. Uh, but so far, this is where I'm at.